Hey Pisces, welcome to your bonus reading for the week and for your weekly love connections. Um, this is my way of saying thank you for all your support and um, this will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. All right, Pisces, let's get on with your reading. What do we have for Pisces in love? To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by. Info about my personal readings and everything else about this channel will be in the description box below. To my new viewers, welcome. All right. Pisces, what do we have for Pisces in love? This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter in love. Seven of Wands, Pisces. The Ten of Cups, the Tower, High Priestess, the Nine of Coins, Judgment, all right, Ace of Swords. The king of coins. Okay. Let's get you one more. And <clears throat> the eight of wands. At the bottom of the deck, you have nothing less than the ace of cups. All right, Pisces. Okay. So... Pisces, this is about a connection where, this is about a connection, Pisces, where um, you're dealing with someone um, who, you know, may have a bit of a struggle on their part, yeah? Not just about their relationship with you, but on a general sense, on their own uh personal stuff yeah uh primarily you could be dealing with someone pisces who were um oh who was a bit of um experiencing imbalance in their life somebody who may have um problems with their own love affairs somebody who may have problems with their own um stability you know and um that definitely could impact or would have impacted the way they have related with you, yeah? But coming into this reading, and in particular, with the, your connection with one another, I do feel, Pisces, that there seem to be a renewed um, energy here, renewed energy, in the sense that if you are not talking to one another, um, I see or I feel an energy here of um, wanting to touch base, wanting to um, at least get a chance to be in each other's um, energy field. Yeah, once again, that's the way I see it. And it could likely be because, wow, <laughs> you have the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Coins, and the Ace of Coins. It could highly likely that... Um, this new or renewed energy I am seeing is because um, there is an opportunity here to start something off. Yeah, There is an opportunity to possibly reconcile. There is an opportunity to start um, relating to one another once again. And this time, it comes in with... Um, solid or grounded actions so it's not just you know uh, connecting into the energetic field or something or the energetic realm i don't see that um what i'm seeing here and if you're resonating with this is that there is that renewed um get together of two people um wanting to um start something off yeah, wanting to take this new opportunity to um, connect, mm -hmm. 
but in a healthy way. Yeah, um, in a healthy way, in a sense that, um, well, I feel that the person that you're dealing with, Pisces, may now be um, somehow ready in ready emotionally um mentally in terms of dealing with you in this connection so if they were not very committal in the past or this is someone who keeps on you know giving some excuses or not really um focusing on this connection i feel that um this is someone pisces um there's going to be that um 180 shift in terms of their uh relating towards you because of this new opportunity that I see. This new opportunity that I see. For the most part, this could also be your doing. Yeah, especially for those of you who may have handled a situation with this person in a rather more um, careful and mature way. Yeah. Um, when I say mature is that if you were not, um, if you were disagreeing at some point, um, you take it in you processed it and you tried to handle the situation the best way you know how, rather than barging in or fighting or messing um, the situation up. So the way I see here is you were pretty knowledgeable in, in handling the situation, whether it was um, pleasant towards you or unpleasant, the way you dealt with it is in a very intelligent way. Yeah, in an intelligent way. And likely so, that brought this person back to you. Mm -hmm. That brought this person back to you and truly will make you happy because you did all those. Um, you did all those out of love. Yeah. You tried to understand this person. You tried to give them space if they wanted to. Um, you tried to... Um, you allowed things to unfold naturally. Mm -hmm. And you did all that because of your, somehow I feel it's even overwhelming love towards this person. And that brought this person back to you. Something that you haven't, you, you couldn't expect. Yeah. It's a sudden shift. Like I said, this person may have um, detached themselves from you. Yeah. They may have other things that they were dealing with. For some, this is um, likely that um, they may even have someone else, yeah, on the sides and um, somebody who may have um, put you or made you feel unwanted, yeah. But this time, I feel that they are coming in. This is someone who's coming in and you wouldn't even expect it. But the good part here is that this realization of this person came about because you made, you you handled the situation with care. You handled the situation with, um, or I mean, the situation. I mean, the past situation that you had, you handled it with um, some level of maturity. Yeah, you give this per, you gave this person um, time. Yeah, to make themselves um, be back to you. This could very well be you working on yourself, focusing on yourself. And um, on the process, you, you brought this person back. Yeah, you didn't even have to pull them back towards you. They were gravitated. This is someone who is gravitating towards you now. Mm -hmm. And um, this will very, really make you very happy because you're not giving this up yet. Even if you tell me right now that you're done with this, no. The cards are telling me that no. You're not done with this, Pisces. You may not be talking a lot about this person to your friends or you're not even reaching out to this person perhaps, but the fight continues and I see that happening. Yeah. Deep within you, you still want this. Yeah. But perhaps you got to a point where you don't anymore know what to do in this situation, especially if the person was um, willing to go on their own way. Yeah. Somebody who was not investing much towards you. But then the way I see here is there is that shift, a sudden one, which um, you you did not expect this happening. Yeah, you did not expect this happening, or to happen. Yeah, for those of you who hasn't uh, gotten into this, this could be um, coming towards you in in 
still coming towards you, I mean, yeah? And um, that Pisces could actually, this action from this person would actually give you that clarity that you need, yeah? Would actually give you that um, clarity that this time around, you've got the three aces here. You have the ace of coins, the ace of coins, the ace of cups, and the ace of swords on the table. So this time, and um, it, it's really good. Yeah, it's really good because this is someone who is um, voluntarily making their way back to you. Yeah, and not just for fun this time around. We have the king of coins. Yeah, so any issues that you may have encountered in the past, whatever that is, depending on your situation, I feel that um, you will be talking things out. Yeah, in a mature way. Mm-hmm. In a mature way. Because this person would um, um, talk things out with you in a sense that you would both identify the current issues that you have. And then you would both be um, discussing how to arrive to some sort of win-win situation. Yeah? It's a good conversation, good communication, I feel. Yeah. Which could bring about, again, like I said, this new beginning. But the key thing here is that you handle this with care. Mm -hmm. That's the key thing here. You handle this with care, despite the fact that this person may not um, have given you a lot of, um, or you, you know, the appropriate attention that you feel you deserve in this connection. This person may have put you at the back burner. You may even have tried to reach out and patch up with this person, but um, they were not very responsive. Yeah, because that person needed some time and space. Yeah, but if they were not responding, that brought you into that state of, oh, shoot, this person doesn't want me. This person wants someone else. This person just um, left you out in the cold. Yeah, just left you out in the cold. But I feel that um, this king of coins right here would be coming back and um, would be coming back here, as you can see, we have the eight of wands. This is both of you talking things out and any um, issues that um, may have been lurking around that weren't, you know, were not discussed and um, um, f you did not uh, talk about some form of resolution. This is the time, yeah? This is the time right now to talk about it, yeah? to talk about it for the most part i feel that somebody here would also be coming back and show you that they are regretful of what they have done or the choices that they made in the past yeah this is someone who would likely apologize if um in this situation they need to and this is someone who would be seeking a renewal of um your connection yeah a renewal of your connection you know why this is happening? Because this is, um, I feel that this is the divine timing right now, especially for those of you who are, who may have um, spent some time um, working on yourself. Yeah, working on yourself and um, um, improving yourself rather than um, fixating on this person's inability to respond to you in the past. That that action that you have done has actually brought this person back, yeah. And um, if you have been following me in my readings in the past few, I don't know, weeks, um, there were a couple of readings um, about Pisces regarding, you know, your person. It's, um, this is the divine timing at play. And the, um, the world or the universe is um, putting things into perspective, yeah. I feel that this is the one related to that. Yeah, this is the follow-up reading on that. And therefore, if you did, if you know that you have um, did some work for yourself, yeah, if you can vet through that as of this time, you are better as what you were, let's say, X number of months in the past, then this divine timing is now for you. Okay? So, like I said, this reading may or may not resonate to any to everybody, but if you know that um, you are resonating with this, then this is what I see now. This divine timing is now that time for you. Yeah, 
I think it's been a, a while. It's about um, three to four months for, for some of you. Mm -hmm. And um, when you get to talk to this person, it's going to be a slow process of um, building, but there's this essence of building a structure together. So you would know if this is for you, yeah? Okay, but I like it for you, Pisces. This is something that you are not expecting, yeah? You may even have given up to this, um, given up on this situation in the past already. Yeah, you may have. <laughs> All right. But, well, you have three aces. What can I say? Yeah? I think, you, I think for this time, you are the love magnet now. <laughs> For the past three weeks, it was Gemini. And I feel that for your part right now, this is your time. Okay, let's see. Advice, any any thoughts for Pisces? Messages for Pisces, let's see. Using another Oracle deck for you. Blessings. <laughs> you see? Things that we don't expect comes in, in blessings, yeah? And, um, and all, all we could really do with blessings is just to accept it, yeah, with open heart and be grateful. Potential, like I said, here you've got um, aces. So aces are new beginnings. These are potential to start a new phase with someone, yeah, especially if you know how to handle it properly. Mm -hmm. Not repeating cycles that um, were not um, healthy for both of you. Let's get you one more. Fulfillment beautiful you will get the, the blessings that you deserve the blessings that the universe is imparting to you especially this divine timing that we're talking about it's happening because you're getting these blessings and there is that potential yeah for what's to come is something that you will be happy about and will get you to that fulfillment that you deserve okay so I'm going to leave it at that, Pisces, and I hope this gives you insights. And um, if you like this reading, give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel. And um, if it doesn't, if if this resonates with you, um, let me know in the comment section below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements and um, go check out my other readings. Those can be insightful for you as well. All right. If this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.